Wagner's friend, is a celebrated thought experiment in quantum mechanics that explores the perplexing nature of measurement and the observer's role in collapsing a wave function. Proposed by physicist Eugene Wigner in 1961, the paradox highlights the deep conceptual problems at the foundation of quantum theory. The core of the experiment lies in two observers, Wigner and his friend, who have different perspectives on a quantum event. Imagine a friend is inside a sealed laboratory. Inside the lab, there's a quantum system, such as an atom, that is in a superposition of states. For example, it's simultaneously in an excited and a ground state. The friend performs a measurement on this atom. According to the standard interpretation of quantum mechanics, the act of measurement causes the atom's wave function to collapse, forcing it into one definite state, either excited or ground. The friend, having observed the result, now knows the atom's state. Now let's consider Wigner, who is outside the sealed lab. From Wigner's perspective, the friend and the atom together form a single, larger quantum system. Since Wigner has not yet interacted with the lab or received any information from his friend, he must describe the entire system, the friend and the atom, as being in a superposition. This means, from Wigner's point of view, the friend is in a superposition of two states, the friend who measured the atom in the excited state and the friend who measured the atom in the ground state. The paradox emerges when Wigner and his friend compare their descriptions of reality. The friend insists that the measurement has already happened, and the atom is in a definite state. Wigner, however, maintains that no collapse has occurred from his point of view. The entire lab system is still in a superposition. When does the collapse truly happen? Does it happen when the friend observes the atom? Or does it only happen when Wigner opens the door and observes the friend? This thought experiment challenges the very definition of a measurement and the boundary between the quantum and classical worlds. Is the friend as an observer capable of collapsing the wave function? Or is a human observer not special and is simply part of a larger quantum system? This raises questions about consciousness and its role in quantum collapse, a topic that has led to many different interpretations of quantum mechanics. Different interpretations of quantum mechanics offer varying solutions to this paradox. The Copenhagen interpretation, for instance, suggests that the collapse happens at the moment of measurement, but it doesn't specify what measurement entails. The many worlds interpretation sidesteps the issue of collapse entirely by proposing that every possible outcome of a quantum measurement is realized in a separate universe. In this view, both the excited atom and ground state atom exist, each in a different universe, along with the corresponding version of the friend.